resigned, then that report had to stop and the investigation had to stop. There was no guarantee at all that that would come out. Uh, yes, we could have continued on. Yes, I could have said, no, we're not going to uh, pay the judge anything. No, we're not going to settle the matter. I believe that that would have been at a far greater cost. There's a matter that I'm aware of that um, the next speaker, uh, Dr Kennedy Grant, uh, Graham, is going to raise, and that's the issue around pecuniary interests for judges. I think it's quite important to note that um, in the case of the former judge, he was appointed straight to the Court of Appeal by the former Attorney General, uh, Dr Michael Cullen, the Honourable Dr Michael Cullen. That was in 2007, and that was without the more traditional apprenticeship of being on the High Court. Ten months later, he was elevated to the Supreme Court. I don't know if that had anything to do with um, the matters that then uh, proceeded, but I do think it is very difficult sometimes for people who have come in from very high positions in, say, the legal profession to suddenly know that every matter that they do will be scrutinised. It's something that many people find when they come to Parliament, that all actions will be scrutinised and will be the subject of debate. Well, I think that's a, a point raised, but I'd have to say that that was, um, that was very concerning, and it is a point. Um, I believe that this was what this, this does actually show, though, is that although this affair was very unfortunate, there are some positives to be found in its entrails. What it has shown is that judges are, at even the highest court in New Zealand are open to scrutiny, that they can be held to account and therefore find their continued hold on office untenable. I believe that that is what's happened here. I took absolutely no pleasure whatsoever in receiving the former Justice's resignation. I thought it was an extraordinarily sad day that we ever had got to that situation. And I don't think anybody in this House would find that a very edifying um, situation. I, as I said, I could have kept the matter going, and I chose not to. I believe that that was the right, right decision, based on the cost to the public, the cost to the Supreme Court, which is very new, and still really, I believe, needs to uh, have a lot more years under it before it ever sees anything like this again, and hopefully it never will. I know that there are people who have felt um, that this matter has hurt their feelings about and confidence in the judiciary of New Zealand. They should not, because the judiciary in New Zealand has felt this more strongly than anybody else. So, Mr Speaker, in essence, this is something which I believe nobody would want to wish on the judiciary in New Zealand again. I would hope that the matters around pecuniary interests will be addressed in some way, shape or form. I know it is a matter that the judges feel very keenly and that it's a matter that nobody ever wants to see repeated. Call Kennedy Graham.